Emily Akhet is going to bring us that story. And a can't miss Hoda's morning. You know, that's news. what we call them. That's what NBC's Emily Akhet is at a bee farm in New Jersey with more. Good morning. Hey, good morning to you guys. I'll tell you this, no beekeeping suit needed for me today because in these cold temperatures, the tens of thousands of honeybees on this farm have retreated into their hives where much like us humans, they actually shiver to keep warm. And while it is quiet on site here today, nationwide, the honeybee population is soaring. Pretty incredible. And while honeybee populations are bouncing back, some of their fellow pollinators are not. Scientists say nearly 40% of native pollinators are at risk of extinction. One of the easy ways you can help out merely by planting native wildflowers or flowering trees in your backyard. And there's a beautiful benefit to it as well. Guys, back to Absolutely. you. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Emily. Thanks. Emily Akeda is near the epicenter in New Jersey with the latest. And Emily, as we said, you're near the earthquake's epicenter in New Jersey. We felt uh, here in the studio, at least some of us here felt a aftershock a while ago. Do they still pose a threat? Well, Lester, there have been at least seven aftershocks in the region, including a magnitude four quake that rattled the ground here just minutes ago. Experts say these could linger for another several days and people should drop, take cover and hold on when experiencing one. Lester. Emily Akeda tonight in New Jersey. Thank you.